We present T-Ring, enabling instant and customizable interfaces with an embedded magnet through a finger-worn device. We embed a 9-axis IMU, BLE integrated microcontroller, and a lithium polymer battery in the ring. With the conventional gradient descent method, it is hard to estimate orientation near the magnet. With the aid of a particle filter, we can achieve accurate orientation estimation even with the magnet around. By obtaining accurate finger orientation under high magnetic distortion, we can compute 3D position tracking of the fingertip around the magnet. We can simply embed a magnet in the object to achieve 3D fingerprint tracking. Using a double tap gesture, we can configure ID for different purposes while setting the reference orientation for initial calibration purposes. Using our approach, we can easily make interactive objects using 3D printing. In our design toolkit, we provide a drag and drop interface to customize interface elements upon the user's needs. We developed a progressive magnet placement algorithm to compute the location of the magnet based on the user's customization. Using our approach, we support rapid prototyping of interactive objects. First, we embed a magnet in the dedicated magnet holder generated by the toolkit. Here is a working music box. We provide a button for function control. A linear slider is used for volume control. We use finger lift motion to end the continuous interaction session. We also provide a rotary knob with continuous input to control volume. We only embed a single magnet in the 3D printed music box. By simply attaching a small magnet, we can make a TV remote control using furniture like a chair armrest or sofa handle. Here we provide various types of input methods. Button touch, button hold, finger tilt, swipe right, swipe left. Here, a user controls a TV with the sofa. First, the user initiates interaction with a double tap. The user triggers a button function like power and channel up by a tap gesture. We also provide conventional remote controller experience such as press and hold. Here, the volume keeps increasing as the user holds his finger in the same spot. The user lifts his finger to end the interaction. Using finger posture like finger tilt, we can shift between different menus. Swipe gesture is also implemented to hover around the images. We can also provide visual cues depending on user's preference. Our interactive desk example shows how easy it is to customize the interface with our approach. Here are two types of interfaces. Interface 1 contains a swipe pad for user identification. Interface 2 contains a typing pad for user identification. Interface 1 and Interface 2 have different UI element arrangements. How can we change the interface? Here are two simple steps to change the interface. First, replace the physical interface by printing the new interface cover. Second, update local coordinates of new interface elements to the system. Here are demonstrations of the two interfaces we explained. Using a small magnet, we can achieve a wearable interface in an unobtrusive manner. By attaching a magnet inside the clothing, clothing becomes a wearable interface providing 3D position tracking of the fingertip. With our approach, clothing becomes an instant user interface while promoting an eyes-free interaction. We present T-Ring, where we bring interactivity to objects by simply embedding a small magnet within a finger-worn device.